Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and today we're going to do pan pastels. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of requests for uh, using pan pastels and different ways of using them. I've used them before in mixed media and all that fun stuff. And um, so we're going to do a demo. I'm going to do a demo, show you how you can use Mod Podge. This stuff's fantastic. It's called Spectrafix Pastel uh, Fixatives. It's all natural, odor-free. I love this stuff. I only have like maybe a quarter thing left. And um, I have my pan pastels and just a few things, uh, a couple stencils to show you and a few, you know, kind of things like that. Now I have three uh, different little containers. I have these delicious metallics that my daughter had got me and, and just some colors to play with. Um, now these are pan pastels, which means that they are... Uh, literally in a pan. They're pastels that are in a pan. Now I have uh, different kind of pastels. I have Senelier that are oil pastels. I have portfolio water soluble oil pastels, which if you guys want to see, I will do a demo of, but for now we're just going to stick with these. And I also have, what did I do with it? I also have makeup sponges that you can get from the dollar store. You can get them in like in a pack of 20 for a buck. These are great to use in your art, no matter what you're doing. So these are a definite pickup if you're able to, um, or, you, you know, I know a lot of you are uh, money restricted as I am. Um, maybe you each put in 50 cents, go to the dollar store, and then you each can have 10 of these and, and you can cut them, you know, as you use them, if you wash them out there that you can reuse them, which I love to do. So there's so many different ways and different things. Okay. So. These are delicious, and uh, this is just your regular mixed media book with, you know, it's just regular mixed media paper, and what I'm going to do first is, this is a tool that you get uh, with pan pastels. You don't get it with, you buy, rather, I should say, and you also can get these sponges. Now, I'm not going to work too much with the sponges today. Um, I'm going to use one sponge and then like i said i'm gonna work with uh the makeup sponge and this and you can get um you know uh new ones to go on these but i i wipe them off uh sometimes because you know i'm cheap i can't help it uh and that's what they will look like maybe i'll put a new one on just for today but i don't throw these away i save them because you never know and if you're doing a you know a dark color and you want to switch them and not mess up the light you know there's ways to really make your supplies go a long way. So I'm going to do this real quick and get out. And they just come like five in a pack, I think. And it all comes like in one, um, you know, one thing. Now I don't, I've not seen these at the store. I've seen them on Blitzy. Uh, which if you've been with me for a while, y'all know I love me some Blitzy. And if you're interested in Blitzy, you can go down below uh, in my description and there is a link for Blitzy. Um, and listen, if you don't want to give me the credit that you bought from Blitzy, that's fine. I know some of you get weirded out over that. Just go to Blitzy as it is. But yeah, the link is down below. Go check it out. Um, I do get a little bit of a credit if you buy off of my link. I'm not going to lie. They have great supplies there. They have, uh, you can get sewing and art and quilting and drawing and stamping and, uh, you know, uh, scrapbook paper and scissors and paintbrushes and all kinds of great craft paint as well as artistic paint, uh, books. I mean, you it, you can get any anything artistically crafty that you want to get. Uh, so check them out. They're fantastic. Here we go. Okay, so first I'm going to move in my this as well. I'm going to move in my um, camera so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. And let's start, I'm going to start with a regular tool um, that you get just so you can see. And then what I'm going to do is just take, let's do a little stencil. That's just big punchinella, um, but this could be any stencil and I'm going to use a different stencil coming up and you just kind of wipe it in there and look at that. And then I'm going to, you know, you hold it down like you would any stencil. And I like to start in the middle and kind of go around. And you see, it's just, it's just like a, kind of like a chalk, I want to say. Now, if you do a painting or an art journal page, 
something that you want to be aware of. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it just the littlest bit. Um, something you want to be aware of is it's not going to be permanent until you make it permanent. And I'm going to show you that, but this is just, you know, your basic. Um, I'm going to put in, what color do I want to do? How about a little blue? I'm just going to, just a little bit. See how I'm just mixing it on there and I'm just going to go around the edge a little bit. And it mixes, you can see the color mixes beautifully. Okay, and if you need more, you just dip in just a little tap. And you see how it blends? And then look how pretty that looks. Let me hold it up for you because I don't know. Look at that. It's hard to see the lighter color because of the light, but look how pretty. So you kind of made it, you know, and that's beautiful. I mean, that's a really fun way to do it. Um, now here's some red. Let's do some red and black. Maybe you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Because it's hard. I can see it great on my camera, but I know sometimes you guys complain and, and it's hard to see. So let me do darker color. This is just the red. And I'm going to hold it down and do the same thing I did. And just kind of. And you see how easy it spreads. It's like butter. Okay. And obviously the deeper you know, the, the more you do it, the little bit of lighter it gets. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black on the tip and just scooch this over just the tiniest bit and kind of go in just like that. And then go over and kind of blend it, you know, just a few little more strokes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Let me see. Let me see. Yep. See? And see how you get great dimension? So that's fantastic to do, uh, like I said, on an art journal page. Now, what I like to do is I will take a paper towel and I have this. And because I'm cheap, I will clean it off on my paper towel. And if it slides off, you just push it down again. I don't think I had it on there fully. And you see, I'm making sure that I get the majority of it off. I'm not going to worry too much. Okay. And you can see, I can also turn it over if I want to, but I'm not going to on this one. I'm going to show you, you know, come on, stay on there, buddy. There you go. So yeah, so these I'm in love with. Um, you can see how, like I said, how pretty they came out. And that's just playing with these two. What, you know what I mean? So you can definitely, you buy them. I don't think they come in packages. I think you need to buy them individually. Um, so I always do the Roy G. Biv. So it's red. You'll see red, orange, yellow. Uh, if I go on camera, red, orange, yellow, uh, green, blues, purples, black, and white. And then I have metallic. So I can mix them because these are mixable. So now I'm going to open this other package to play in with a couple of the colors in here, white to blend it. And what we'll use, I'll show you how to make it a little bit more, I guess, permanent. Okay. So it's hard to get everything here on. Okay. So first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you using two different kind of sponges and the sponge that you can get. And I'm just going to clean it off a little bit. Again, just wiping it. Just so the majority of it's off. No big deal. Now, I, I will tell you, look at that metallic. I will tell you this. Don't waste it like I am. No matter what you're doing, get a piece of paper, have it set aside or wherever, clean this off on that paper because then you're getting a mixed media background or a layer on a mixed media background and you're not wasting product. That's my little tip because that's what I like. Okay, so this is, we're gonna use a couple sponges and then I'm gonna show you a few things. The um, sponge that you get, there's a million different kinds of sponges. There's a round one, there's smaller ones, there's smaller wedges, but this is the one I like to use the most. And I'm gonna open 
And you see they come, you know, you can get lids and all that. Depends on what you want to want. Now we'll do the red. Look at that beautiful magenta right there. Are we going to touch that? Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go in to the magenta. And you can see I'm just wiping it. That was two times, three times. It's a little powdery. No big deal. Now, if I go, and you can see you get more surface, right? And that's all I'm going to do. And that's with the sponge that you get. This is just, this is not gessoed or primed or anything. This is just paper out of the, out of the uh, mixed media, right? So you have that. Now, if we use a regular, this is just a regular sponge that you get, uh, you know, for your kitchen, you go to the dollar store and get a package of them. And I cut them in pieces and I'm going to go in. It's a little rougher, but that's okay. And you can see, you know, you obviously get more um, powder with this because it's, you know, a little rougher. But if you work with it, you're still getting the color payoff. Look at that. And like I said, it's a, a bit dustier, but, you know, at the end of the day. And then you just go on and you, you know, you put that on another paper for mixed media. And then... You can use your, we'll do it on top here. This is, this is just your makeup sponge. And I'm going to pat it in because there's a lot of um, fallout from the rougher sponge. And I'm just patting it. And look at that. And look. And you're getting delicious color. So you can see the difference. There's hardly none in the sponges so if you can't if you can get your hands on a couple of these and you want to play with them go get your makeup sponge these makeup sponges are great for uh, painting and mixed media and art journaling and everything so um so there you go and that's you know that's what you can do these three use these three for fantastic and so if i go in with a little bit of water let me show you what it does let me get a different wet my brush I'm going to dab my brush off because we really don't go in with soaking wet water. And you can see it, it picks it up. You know, you can see that line going through here. Uh, that's not horrible. But that just means that it's going to lift, uh, you know, if, if you really don't seal it. So what I like to do, besides using the Spectra Fix, um, oh, I love these. Let me go on a back page is I like to take a little bit of my Mod Podge mat, or you can use your school glue. Let me fix, let me do my camera just a little bit. Maybe I can do it down this way. Kind of at a weird angle today. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I'm gonna dry it off, but I want it wet, but not sopping wet. And I'm gonna dip it in and I'm gonna go like this, right? And this is where your where your uh, makeup sponge comes in handy, where it's you know more disposable, or you can clean it and you're not worrying too much. Now I'm going to take whatever sponge you have. I'm going to use this because it picks up a little bit more. Um, that's, no, we'll use blue because it's a little darker. Because it picks up a little bit more uh, dust, I guess. So I'm going to kind of see how I'm dusting it a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to put it in there and give it a, give it a tap. Okay. And don't throw this away or do anything with that yet. And then I'm going to put it in the glue. And this is just another way. Some people, you know, might think, oh, that's wasteful, but it's not. You're going to use it and it's going to, you know, work well. So I'm going to mix it up. And this is one way. Now, if you find it being too thick, let's say you're like, oh, a little thick. I do a spritz of water, just one, nothing fancy, just to kind of mix, loosen up that glue a little bit. And you could do that before you put the color in. It doesn't matter. You do whatever way you like it. And then, as you see, we're making it into a paint. Okay? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
And if you want to use it, well, I'm going to grab a stencil. Let's say you want to use it on a stencil. You can take your, let's do it this way where it's clean. I'm just going to pick it up. But I moved it because my hands moved. That's all right. You just kind of go back with it. Sometimes my hands are like, girl, I'm doing it my own way. But you're going to get the gist of what I'm doing. And if you don't have makeup sponges, use a stencil brush. Or even you can use your brush that you use. Or, you know, if you have a paintbrush, it doesn't matter. I like to use the... Uh, but look at that. That's a pan pastel. That's a pan pastel. Okay. So you definitely can do that. And what that's going to do is, let me go this way. I'll let that dry and then I'll show you. And like I said, get out another piece of paper or a canvas you're working on. Um, like I'm working on this. I can put it, this is off there where I pulled it up. And I can just kind of pull it around, add some color, you know, on your mixed media uh, background or sheet or whatever. And you just, you know, you don't waste it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe this off just because I'm on camera and I've got, you know, other things I want to show you. So what you'll do with this when you're done is stick it in your water. Maybe you have water sitting uh, next to you because you're painting or you have, I, I like to have, <laughs> ridiculous. I like to have this jar. And what this jar is, is water with a little teeny bit of just, just detergent uh, from washing dishes. And I keep it in here and I'll put my brushes and these kind of things in there. Um, just so I can, you know, wet them and keep them clean. Or if I want to clean my stencil real quick, anything like that, that's what I'll do. Okay. So, and then I'll put it in there and then I'll, I, when I'm done, I can go and do my thing. Okay. So, um, that's a wonderful, like I said, that's a wonderful, wonderful way to do it. If you want to use a stamp with these. Okay. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to take, let's take some red. And I'm just going in. I didn't even clean um, my uh, brush. And I'm just going to lightly go. And you can see I'm just lightly wiping it on. You can see because that dark is going um, underneath away. That's the ink that I used prior. I like to give it a tap too. I don't know what it does, but I, I just feel fancy like I'm dancing. Okay. And then what you can do is... And you can stamp give it a little blow um and then of course you can seal it um you also can do it if with you know when with the uh glue like we did here you can also do that on here as well that's up to you but you see what i'm saying and some people like to do <clears throat> they like to take their brayer it's a really good a good print the only thing i'm going to tell you about that is i don't know if you saw it but when I put this down to bray it, because this is like the flimsy, uh, this is like a um, polymer clay, quote unquote, stamp, but I use it all for everything. Um, it, it can roll up. Do you know what I mean? And extend it a bit, which it depends on, you know, what you like. And then um, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. And then you just go and you can just very simply wipe off your stamp or stamp it off on um, your piece of paper that you have sitting by just so you can, you know, do your thing. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you uh, right now, and I am going to show you in uh, mixed media how we're going to do it, but the last thing I'm going to show you is, let's take, uh, now watch, I'm going to turn this over. So I'm going to pull this off gently, going to turn it over, come on, Kel, and push it on. It just rolls on. If you have better hands than me or hand strength, you're good to go. It'll just take you a little less. I'm going to move this down. We're going to work up in this corner and I'm going to take some orange 
and I'm just gonna put it on there and do I have a stencil that I want to use um we'll just keep using this one we'll do the little flower here all right so let's say we want to use this with our stencil and we want it to be you know fairly uh permanent we don't want it to smear or smudge necessarily so you can see I'm just kind of and I tap it so it gets in there like I said sometimes you know but you do whatever procedure you like and you see that's how pretty it comes out then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my matte Mod Podge and I'm gonna take a fairly big brush and the reason I'm using a fairly big brush is about an inch because I only want to swipe once. So I'm going to take some Mod Podge or white school glue, collage podge. Um, I like to use matte, but you can use glossy as well. It's up to you, whatever you have. Um, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to start over here and I'm going once, but you see what happens. It's not going to give you your um, crisp, clear, crisp, clear, um, Oh, I just lost my cats over in the bag and I'm like, what the heck is she doing? Your, your image. So what you can do is take a water bottle and I don't have an extra water bottle here, but you can take a water bottle, add some of your uh, glue in there and give it a quick, fine squirt. Make sure you're like those mini misters are great because they just do a very fine um, mist and that will make that more permanent. But see, so that's that. But if you use, I'm going to use the Spectrafix once and you... Give it a, see that fine mist that came out? You didn't even see it. And I squirted it on there. And then you're going to see the difference between your Mod Podge and your... Now, see, I like the Mod Podge. The reason I did it was because for mixed media, and if you're doing your art journal and you're doing... Excuse my hands. And you're doing backgrounds and stuff. Look how cute, like cool, because you can still see the image somewhat, but it's like, you know, like kind of artsy and kind of grungy and kind of, you know what I mean? So you definitely can use it in ways, maybe not that you get a crisp, clear thing. So this is dry. So I want to show you that. I'm going to hit this just with the heat gun for a second. Now, sometimes with the Spectra Fix, you have, now they do have other, you can use, um, I have also workable fixative you can use, but to spray it inside, it's not, it, it's kind of smelly. With that Spectra Fix, there's not an odor to it at all. So I'm just going to quickly give that a dry. And then I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to just dab it. I'm not going to, you know, completely. Now watch. Look. It's not. So we just made it permanent. Isn't that cool? So this, I should have put another coat on, but look at that. The water, it's still you still get that and it ran now it's a little wet there so that's going to make it look a little different but you'll see it didn't move now if i would have sprayed another coat on there it would have been because it does say on the bottle on the spray bottle to do um a couple coats but i'm going to show you the difference just from one coat And you can see that it doesn't, you still get a crisper uh, stencil there. It's not as bad. It's not as smeared as that. And you can see this made it a little waterproof with the Mod Podge, which is fun on its own, which I have a video coming up for that. But you can see it's still on there. So if you did another coat, you'd probably be good to go. So that's that's just a little, you know, little video on these pan pastels. Um, I could sit here for hours and, and show you different kind of things. I am going to use them again in my um, art journaling and in my mixed media so you guys can see. But, you know, this, I love this because now I've just made it into a, uh, a type of paint, so to say, and it's not moving. And how fun, you know, to use it as a stencil, even with this. Let's do this one. You'll see. Look not going anywhere and I use that as a stencil and it is not going anywhere so I just made 
my pan pastels into paint and how much fun can you have using them as uh, your regular pan pastel way or using them and making them permanent. So that's all I got for you today on this. But if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I'd be very grateful. I like to see what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And if you uh, found me and you are not already subscribed, please subscribe, hit that button down below and over to the right, you'll see a little bell, click that. It'll notify you when my videos go up uh, because YouTube's having some weird, weird things happening and um, not everybody is getting uh, videos and all in their feed. So please do that. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and please share me everywhere like I'm your loose friend. I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.